my name is Nigel Carlin. I've been the academy manager with Connacht Rugby for uh, just over 10 years. Um, and I suppose during that time I've seen sort of many changes in you know, I suppose the, the demands that are upon our players and, um, and also in the game. And, and as such we've had to sort of adapt uh, how our programmes are run, how we identify players and, uh, and how we sort of try and hone players then to be, um, to be successful in the professional game. This is getting ridiculous. Dennis Buckley is Superman. It's a job you would you would do for nothing because it's um, it's extremely rewarding. I mean, it's it's what our objective is is to you know identify and try to produce professional rugby players. So we're not here to take the pat on the back. If a player is successful, it's because you know he's hardworking, he's motivated, he's driven, um, you know, and, and he's applied himself over a, a period of time. If we look at the nature of professional rugby, we need guys that are durable, we need guys not only to ride the highs but to ride the lows as well and so there, you know, very often there's more lows than highs and guys that are um, resilient to, um, to change and guys that are able to adapt to that is, is very, very important. So equally as important for us is the development of not only the player but the person. Um, so we place a, a big emphasis upon personal development as, as much as player development. It's, it's very much a balancing act to have some sort of um, academic balance is very very important in our opinion that it's good to have distraction but also it keeps the mind pretty fresh and, and sharp. We're very fortunate that the university has become very flexible in terms of allowing the players to, to manage their, their timetable. You know they train with us um, twice a day and from physical development, skill development, uh, personal development program. So it does place, you know, a, a lot of emphasis on their on their time commitments. And uh, I think the player who has the balance and who's able to um, um, juggle the two um, effectively tends to be the guys who can, you know, are, are more successful. We're, we're probably fortunate in Connacht and that we've got a, a head coach in Pat who's um, who trusts the players, who trusts our program and is willing to give those guys a shot and um, you know over the last couple of years we've had a lot of success. I think it's great that um, you know the clan and, and our supporters have recognised that it's very difficult for these guys. Very often they're living away from home and they're trying to feed themselves and financially it, it's a challenge for them to be able to um, you know the, very often to look after themselves the way they need it um, that's going to aid their actual development so um, I think you know with, with a bursary I think these guys it, it's it'll certainly alleviate some of the uh, the strain upon the player and just allow them then to be able to focus on, on just performing then and, and developing as it, as, as needed you know in, you know in their pursuit of um, a professional rugby contract.